Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is the series that I post every single Wednesday, chatting over new makeup releases and talking about what has my attention and what I am not so interested in purchasing. I will link my playlist down below. I'll also link the community playlist. I started this so any creator who makes this style of new releases video can add there. So if you want to see what a bunch of different creators are thinking about these new releases, of course, everyone has different opinions and what speaks to them for what reasons. And I just enjoy watching the playlist and seeing what other people are thinking thinking so much so both of those will be linked down below but we do have a lot to chat about this week so let me go ahead and get started right, so to get started this this hair over here is just doing its own thing so you know don't mind it you never know what's gonna happen when you curl your hair you just never really know and I did want to say that I have filmed this eye look I'm gonna have a video on a Friday with at least three looks with the new Natasha Denona love palette this is going to be one of them so stay tuned for that video it will be coming on Friday. I do have one look up on my Instagram so far if you would want to check that out. But to jump into it, this is one that I got so many tags on and I was so excited. I was so excited to see it. This is from Dose of Colors. They are coming out with new beauty sponges and I'm like I'm totally here for it. The Dose of Colors makeup sponge is one of my favorites. Uh, I've recommended it so many times. So they are coming out with this Seamless Beauty Sponge Jumbo Size. Hello. Also the Sculpt and Shape Seamless Beauty Sponge and then the Penpoint Seamless Beauty Sponge. These are going to be available February 21st on the Dose of Colors website. Hopefully they'll also be coming into Ulta Beauty. That's where I purchased my first Dose of Colors sponge and then went on to love it. Looks like a little Hershey kiss always makes me hungry for some chocolate uh, I'm definitely really interested in these I felt like it did its job really well I liked the feel of it it washed really easily you know sometimes you have makeup sponges where that first time you wash it it's like did anything even happen or sometimes it'll like bleed out color I just I ha like I highly recommend the one from dose of colors so I'm super excited about these I'm definitely very interested in them I feel like if I was placing a purchase at Ulta Beauty and these were there I'd be like you know what I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple more because, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about that. All right, so moving on to some other new releases. I know that might be a random one, but it's probably, like, the thing I'm most excited about, quite honestly. All right, so moving on, we have a new release from Tatcha. This is the Silk Canvas Protective Primer in a liquid formula. So, the new Liquid Silk Canvas, a weightless and oil-free liquid skincare primer that imparts a fresh satin finish infused with three silk extracts that shield the skin from pollutants and makeup. It nourishes skin, minimizes clogged pores, and helps makeup look and last longer, and it's going to be at $52. So, the, um, the Silk Canvas Primer from Tatcha is like that got so hyped up on YouTube. There's been brands that have come out with kind of like dupe versions of it, like I'm thinking the Elf Cosmetics has, but so many people still use and recommend this one from Tatcha. I have never tried it myself, but I'm interested in this one because it's the liquid. The Something about the other primer and you know I would see people like sticking their finger in it. I'm just like, mm, I don't know what it is. A lot of you might know. I don't like putting my fingers in makeup. I know that's probably a really weird thing for a makeup lover, but like swatching and just like st like something about sticking my, I just, I don't know what it was. Like I, there's certain things that just freak me out that I don't feel like have a rhyme or reason. And that was just one of them. So when everyone was raving about it, A, it's very expensive, it's $52. And B, I was like, how often am I really gonna use this? I don't know. So now that they're coming out with the liquid version, I'm like, should I try it out? I mean, still, it's $52. It's very expensive. I don't know, but so many people still continue to rave about this. So I'm kind of looking at it. I don't know if I would really go for it. I feel like I would especially have to get it on some sort of like discount or sale or something because I feel like $52 even for a foundation is very, very expensive. So for a primer, like it's going to have to do really amazing things. But what are you guys thinking about this one from Tatcha? And speaking of really expensive things, I had a friend send me this post from Trend Mood to my DMs on Instagram and said like, you thought your girlfriend Pat McGrath had expensive foundation? Well, Tom Ford's coming out with a new foundation, okay? Okay? So Tom Ford is coming out with the Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation with SPF 50. It's a medium to full coverage foundation with a three-dimensional radiance that reflects soft light. It's supposed to be fade resistant, moisturizing, nourishing, a protecting formula. Uh, it says a lot. 
Like it really, it has a lot going on I, I, and I, I, I get it. I think maybe it's like trying to distract from the price tag because it's, it's $150 for the foundation. When I first saw that, I was like, that can't be right. Is that right? Is that $150? Nine shades. There's also a shade and illuminate foundation brush 2.5 that you can get. That's $100. So either one is fine. Uh, I, I'm not going to get this foundation. That that's that's a lot that's a lot to me and I feel like there's a lot of people who love Tom Ford and just like I mean just love Tom Ford and have a great like amazing collections and that is so awesome but I'm not going to be able to do it it sounds nice medium to full coverage uh, maybe have a little bit of radiance in there be a little moisturizing like I feel I get it I like it it sounds kind of like skincare mixed with uh, foundation um, because it says there's there's Ingredients in here that will nourish and calm the skin. I mean that sounds very nice. This hair is going to drive me crazy the entire time Okay, but um price but you know, I still I have a hard time spending over a hundred dollars on eyeshadow palettes um, Foundations I just I don't know man That's a lot of money and I don't have a lot from Tom Ford in part because the brain is very very pricey But again, I know people are going to be excited about it. It's just harder for me to get excited Let's just keep on talking about expensive things. Okay, let's just, why not? Let's move over to Giorgio Armani. Okay, I think a lot of people are gonna be really excited about this too. So um, if you are familiar with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silica Foundation, this had all the craze on YouTube back in the day. I can remember this is kind of falls. It wasn't, I don't think it was the very first product that was a YouTube made me buy it, but it definitely was in like, the first handful of products that I purchased because I kept hearing people on YouTube hype it up. The Luminous Silk Foundation. I luckily only got a sample of it and I didn't love it. And I was like, what's wrong with me? You know, I still kind of have those feelings sometimes. Like I love something that seems like the majority of people hate or vice versa. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? What? And then if you like dare say your opinions on the internet, ooh, child. You better watch out. This is the Luminous Silk Concealer. It says, coverage with a radiant second skin finish. Glycerin and vitamin E provide the delicate eye area with 24 hours of hydration, while caffeine works to reduce puffiness and dark circles. This is going to be $38 and 20 shades. So that definitely is very pricey concealer. I believe I've touched on the Pat McGrath concealer as well in the past in the Will I Buy It videos. That's gonna be $32. I mean, truly, I wouldn't have been surprised to see the Pat McGrath at more of the $38 mark because some other high-end concealers are at the $32. I think that's the most I've ever paid for a concealer too, off the top of my head. Uh, so 38, once again, very pricey. I don't know if I'm gonna go for this one. I also really love the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. I wear that one so often. It kind of always ends up in my travel bag. I think it's so easy to blend. It looks so nice. Like it's definitely a top, top, top concealer of mine. So I'm like, I don't know. Do I really need to like, also try the luminous silk but then at the same time i'm like well because i like that one so much maybe i would like the luminous silk but then it's because i didn't like the foundation which obviously foundation concealer are different i'm just telling you my thought process as i'm thinking about what i'm gonna buy i'm like i don't i don't know and with the pat mcgrath coming out at the 32 dollars i feel like i'm more interested in trying that one uh, so this one from armani beauty is going to be available march april so i'm probably going to skip on it uh, and then, like I said, I think I've touched on the Pat McGrath, but just, I think we only had like a sneak peek or an idea that it was coming, but we have like the photo of it now and everything. So this is the Sublime Perfection Concealer, 36 shades, $32 each, creamy, lightweight, full coverage concealer with a natural radiant matte, radiant matte finish. I always say matte. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Finish that brightens under the eyes and hides the appearance of blemishes. This is going to be available February 21st. So I'm definitely more interested off the bat in the Pat McGrath. And then maybe I'll just have my Armani Power Fabric be like a holy grail in the concealer area. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking right now. I probably don't need to purchase two like luxury, high-end luxury concealers at one time. That might be a little bit overboard. But uh, I'm interested more in the Pat McGrath. All right, uh, this next one, I thought this was interesting. I actually found this on the Ulta Beauty website. I pretty much look at Sephora and Ulta every single day just to see what's going on you know there was a sale at sephora over the weekend i was 
checking out what was on sale, just any new releases, any coupons popping out. I don't know, I just like to see what's going on and share if anything seems interesting. But Morphe is coming out with new setting sprays. So they have available now at Ulta Beauty. This is the Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. It's a microfine mist that sets liquid or powder makeup with a smooth matte finish, and that is going to be $16. And also there is the Luminous Setting Spray. So this is a hydrating formula that sets your makeup and seals in moisture. This one is infused with coconut water, glycerin, and apple extract to leave you with a glowing finish. All right, so I really do like Morphe's, just kind of their original setting spray. It's one of my favorites. I've gone through full size. I've repurchased them. I think it's really nice, especially to kind of like settle down powders. If I really go at it with the powders, I tend to really enjoy the Morphe. It just makes my skin feel a little better, a little bit better. I feel like it looks a little bit better and all of that. Um... So it's definitely one of my favorites. I do have a declutter coming up that will include my setting sprays. I've started my declutter series. My eyeshadow palette uh, collection and declutter is already up. I will have sprays, primers, and also powders coming up. I think it's going to be Sunday's video. It's already been filmed, but um, I was, I'm kind of like filming all over the place. And declutters, they're a little bit easier for me to film at night and everything. So that one will be coming, but it's definitely a favorite of mine out of you know, all the sprays that I've tried. I don't know, the Luminous and the Matte, the Matte doesn't really get to me. I've tried the MAC Fix, Fix Plus in their Matte setting spray, and I didn't really love it. I didn't really notice it. And then with the Luminous one, I, sometimes I feel like I try ones that, like the Anastasia Dewey set, I really thought I was gonna love that. I typically have a lot more drier skin, and I just really didn't. It was almost too much for me, so I don't know if I really... When I first saw these, I was like, ooh, exciting. And then I saw what they were and I was like, but do I really need it? Because I tend to find my favorites are ones that, again, kind of like settle down makeup on my skin or help long lasting. I don't really use my setting sprays to be more matte or really even to be more luminous. That's kind of not what I am going for. I kind of get that look based on like my primers and my foundations and that sort of thing. So I don't think I really need these from Morphe. I was interested. Um, I feel this is the per first product from Morphe that I've actually been interested in in a while. But when I looked at it and thought about it a little bit closer, and then I think especially it helped just doing my declutter and kind of talking over my preferences and seeing what I got rid of and what I kept that I was like, eh, this probably isn't going to make the, the most sense to me. All right. Uh, Ofer Cosmetics has come out with a few new releases. They have come out with two new eyeshadow palettes. I am an affiliate with Ofra, so I do get um, some of their PR. So one palette here is the Galaxy palette, and this one is more purple. I really like this one. When I saw this one, I mean, I do really like purple looks. When I saw this one, I got pretty excited, especially because you have four new eyeshadow shades in each one, and then also a highlight. And the, uh, the Galaxy palette comes with the highlight Neptune, which has more of this purple shift. I have done swatches on my Instagram as well. So it is a five pan palette. And then the other one, that they came out with is in Sweet Dreams. So again, kind of the same with this one. You have four new eyeshadow shades and then the highlight shade in the middle in the in the middle is Pillow Talk, which is one of my personal favorite highlights from Ofra. I was actually able to collab with them in the summer and we came out with kind of a custom highlight that was my two favorite shades, Pillow Talk and Star Island uh, together in the highlight compact. So I definitely love Pillow Talk. This one is really beautiful as well, kind of just more of that kind of just more neutral tones but this shade in particular I just thought was like so stunning. First swatch that I thought it was so stunning that's kind of like a really weird swatch in a really weird place but um that's a swatch of that shade and when I did I was like whoa that is really beautiful. I will say that Ofra hasn't tended to have my absolute favorite eyeshadow formula. There's other products that I like from them a lot more. Obviously, their highlighters, their liquid lipsticks, even their lip glosses are a little bit newer. I tend to go for those a lot more, but I know that they've been switching up their eyeshadow formula and just how they create the different shades, and I feel like I can really tell a difference from these two palettes especially. So these guys have run for $32 on the Ofra website. Like I said, I am an affiliate with them. I do have a 20% off discount code, which is just Samantha. If you would be interested in trying them out, I really like the five pan palettes. Um, it's I, I like smaller palettes I, and I like ones that have a little bit more of a color story to them, which I think that these definitely do. So I think color wise, they would just come down to um, 
what what preference that you would have here but i like that they came out with two and i like that they're pretty different from one another to come out with new lip glosses in the collection there is uh myth and then also a supernova and again the ofra glosses are one of my favorite formulas i have a ton of different shades i've recommended them a bunch i wear them so often so there is two new glosses over there as well uh so i will have that linked down below along with my affiliate code ofra is also available at ulta beauty if you're interested in shopping there too i also feel like i got a lot of tags on this photo here on the trend mood site that uh shares that drunk elephant is going to be moving into hair care now i think we saw this a while ago like it was just said that we knew this was coming uh, drunk elephant is a skincare brand i think a very well-known skincare brand a very luxury skincare brand expensive skincare brand uh, that you can also find at sephora so they are uh, about to come out with some hair care products this i find interesting so drunk elephant was what did i say acquired by i believe it was shiseido uh, a few months back it was in 2019 i'm pretty sure so I was kind of curious what was going to happen with the brand. Were they going to be coming out with new products? Were they going to be changing products? Like what exactly was going to happen? So um, they're now launching a hairline. And what I also thought was interesting is that it's with Jennifer Aniston's stylist. <laughs> and when I saw that headline, I was like, hmm, uh, let me look at this a little bit more. And so the owner, um, creator of Drunk Elephant is Tiffany Masterson. She said that she specifically developed this line under the guidance of celebrity hairstylist and her personal friend, uh, Chris McMillan. Drunk Elephant really kind of prides himself on having good ingredients in their skincare and with reading the interview i can link it down below it was on refinery 29 i believe it is uh, they kind of have the, the same concept there about being aware of what you have in your in your hair care and using good ingredients on your scalp and all of that so they said that it made sense for them to kind of combine and team up for this um hair care line so there is going to be the Hair Wild Marula Tangle Spray, which is $25, the Marula Cream Conditioner, $25, the Glossing Shampoo, $25, and the TLC Happy Scalp Scrub, which is going to be $36, and these are going to be available on March 1st. So I'm instantly kind of interested in this one, just because I really like a lot of Drunk Elephant products. I find a lot of them really work well for me. Hair care products actually aren't as high priced as I think I maybe initially thought that they would be just because I mean Drunk Elephant has $80 products and $90 skincare products I was kind of like how much is this hair care going to be like is it going to be even remotely accessible to purchase so I don't know I'm kind of interested I've been getting more into just hair recently trying to actually you know keep up on trimming my split ends which i used to only get my hair cut like once a year um but also just trying to use different products on my hair seeing what works best for me and just taking care of it a little bit more so uh yeah i'm interested in this one maybe the tangle spray i mean the shampoo and conditioner that could be fun to try out the scalp scrub i think that that sounds really nice there's a product from briogeo that i try to use every once in a while um it's their like their charcoal I'm blanking on the name but kind of like their charcoal hair mask and it's really good for kind of like detoxing your scalp especially if you use a lot of products i use a lot of dry shampoo because i try to only wash my hair twice a week uh so it kind of helps get rid of any buildup for that and uh, so i like that product so i'm wondering if maybe it'll be something similar so i don't know i'm curious about this one again with drunk elephant being a brand that i just I really like a lot of their products anyways. I'm curious about kind of this hair care line that they are coming out with. All right, so moving on, uh, I see that House Labs is coming out with a new lip product. This is the Le Monster Matte Lip Crayon by House Labs, which is Lady Gaga's brand. This is a full coverage creamy formula in one swipe. It's lightweight, goes on smooth, dries down morphing from a creamy application into a budge proof matte finish there's going to be 12 different shades available february 18th i don't see a price on this post but it'll also be available on amazon i'm not really into crayon lip products it's just not really my thing i think it's interesting that they say that you know it goes on creamy but it'll dry down matte and it'll be budge proof i mean there's a, definitely a lot of claims on this one there's a pretty decent shade selection from kind of your neutrals and mauves pinks um some lighter shades oranges i i don't think that i'll be grabbing for this one though i haven't tried anything from house labs yet and again with it being kind of a product that i don't really gear towards myself 
when it comes to lip products, I will probably be passing on that one. Uh, okay, so Jeffree Star is coming out with a new collection. I always get a little bit nervous to talk about Jeffree Star because it just seems like no matter what you say or do, like someone is always just furious with you. So a lot of times I tend to skip over the products, but I'm trying to get more into the habits of not letting the internet scare me as much as it does. I was trying to do that in my declutters, like my first one that I decluttered, I was like, you know, I'm trying to, like I'm over trying to like justify when I'm keeping something or getting rid of something because again, with the internet, someone's always mad at you for something. And if you just continue to hold on to that, like that's not a very good way to live life. So is what it is. All right, anyways. Jeffree Star is coming out. This is going to be a um, new addition to the Blood Sugar family. So this is a new color. This one is all about purple. So it includes the Blood Lust palette. This has 18 shades. There's going to be mattes and also a new extreme sparkle metallic formula for $54. There's also going to be a mini velour liquid lipstick set for $52. There's going to be glosses for $18 and there's some different accessories. I see mirrors. A violet and mauve 63 mm grinders i'm honestly not sure what that means a purple metal straw pack there's a crossbody bag jackets windbreakers hats there's a lot going on this is going to be available february 21st so i'm going to touch on the palette because i feel like i've gotten asked the most questions on the eyeshadow palette and if i'd be purchasing it again i love purples i was talking about that over palette i have the purple on my eyes from the natasha denona love palette big fan of purples uh i haven't tried the jeffree star eyeshadow palette formula i actually if you've made it this far, let's see if I can surprise you. I I have a Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. I haven't tried it though. I haven't used it yet. It is the Blue Blood palette. I received it in a goodie bag from when I went to the American Influencer Awards. Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I think, was like a, a, a sponsor. And the bags had the Blue Blood, Blue Blood palette in it. I haven't tried it yet though. Honestly, blues are... I don't wear blues a ton and it is a very very blue palette so I hung on to it because I wasn't sure like should I do a video with it <laughs> I've never tried Jeffree Star Cosmetics so that's interesting I wasn't sure if I should do a video with it and then I thought about giving it away and then I wasn't sure I was like maybe I should try it I don't know I don't know what to do so I still have it it's still sitting in the box so let me know if there's anything you want to see or if you think I shouldn't even open myself up to it holler at me um but for the eyeshadow palette, the packaging is definitely very beautiful. It's like this velvet packaging, but I immediately kind of think like for someone who has a larger collection and I like to think of how to store things, this might drive me crazy. <laughs> so I'm not so sure about that. Um, and again, without trying the formula, I, it's, it's not something that I'm going to be running out and purchasing myself. I do think the shades are pretty, but sometimes with Jeffree Star palettes, I don't always quite get the shade stories that are, are happening. It just it's not makeup that I gravitate towards myself and a lot of times they're bigger palettes or with a larger amount of shades and again like I like the five pan palettes um even like the nine pan palettes something like that that's a little bit more my style so the 18 shades for 54 dollars I'm not planning on purchasing this one but like aesthetically I think that it looks really beautiful a sneak peek from MAC Cosmetics that they're coming out with the strobe face glaze illuminizer all I see right now is coming soon I'm not sure I totally understand what this is because they have the strobe cream from MAC Cosmetics and that's kind of illuminating already. So I'm kind of wondering what the difference between that and the strobe face glaze illuminator is. Not really sure, but that one says coming soon. I'm not sure I'm going to be totally into that one though. And then speaking of MAC Cosmetics, they have um, some more coming out, some more lip products. So they have lipsticks coming out with this kind of metallic gold packaging. I guess they're doing a really big collaboration with a bunch of people all around the world. They've done this in the past before. Uh, and it says that one of the... <laughs> It says, announce more collaborations for 2020 with new influencers from all over the world and also with Barbie. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Um, so MAC times Barbie is a Barbie pink shade. This is going to be available February 26th. I don't think I'll be grabbing this. I don't see myself wearing kind of like more of this hot purple shade. Uh, but they are also doing a collaboration with Hindash. I've heard his name mentioned quite a bit recently. He looks to be an amazing makeup artist. This shade does look really pretty. The MAC and Hindish. It has a perfect blend of pink, red, and brown. You can wear alone or as a topper. This is also going to be available on February 26th. I think this shade does look really pretty. I just... I don't know if I necessarily need to run out and grab these. Speaking of collaborations, uh, Milani is doing a collab with Salt and Pepper. 
I did not see this coming. Did anyone else see this coming? Because I did not see this coming at all. Um, it says the most iconic duos of the 90s, Salt and Pepper, to Peppa, <laughs> to capture the magic of their biggest hits. We have the hot, cool, and vicious eyeshadow and highlighter palette for $19.99, nine bold mattes, and three shimmer shades with an ultra illuminating highlighter. There's the very necessary eyeshadow and highlighter palette for $19.99. There is also Lip Kids for $11.99. This is very interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm really going to grab anything from this collection though. Salt and Peppa was just like a, just like a smidge before my time. Like I do, obviously like I know their songs and I know Push It and all of that and I know who they are and everything, but it was just like a little bit before my time before I was really like, oh my goodness, I'm a huge Salt and Peppa fan. Not that I don't like them or like everything, I guess if I don't. The kind of these more circular palettes, I think I, I think it's supposed to be like in the shape of a CD, which I totally get. That's super fun. Um, and the lip kits, I feel like one of them kind of definitely has that more 90s vibe to it, which I do like. I just, I don't know. When I saw it, I was like, cool, and that's fun. And I think a lot of people are going to love it. But I was like, do I really need to run out and buy it? Probably not. I think if anything interests me, it's kind of more of that 90s lip look because I still I still like that. But you'll have to let us know what you're thinking if you are so excited about that. And then some more lip products. So Bite Beauty uh, is coming out with a few new items. We have the Line and Define Lip Primer. So it's a multitasking lip primer made with superfoods to keep your lip color in line and extend its wear to $22. I've tried a couple products like these. I like them, but... I don't reach for them a ton, um, so I probably would skip over that. And I think that one is actually coming into the next Trend Mood box. I think that's the first sneak peek we've seen of the next Trend Mood box, which would be number four, I believe. I literally did this, number four. I have the Agave and Pre Makeup Lip Serum. So this serum has a grapefruit scent, smooth softens and hydrates, uh, leaving your lips prepped for lip color, $24. And then, oh, okay, so that's that's all we have for that. I don't know if I really feel like I need to grab either one of these. Uh, I think they both sound nice, but not anything that I'm like, yes, like that's the product I've been waiting for. Uh, and we also got a, another sneak peek at the next Trend Mood box. I didn't get the third one. I did get the email. I, I know I talked about not being able to sign up for the email with the second box, which I really wanted. Trend Mood did reach out to me to say that she added my email herself to their list. So I did get the email before the launch time, but I actually didn't want the box. I'd already mentioned in, in I think it was last week's Willie Bite video, that there were some products in there that I really wasn't interested in. The Juvia's Place palettes were put in there and I actually already have those. So it just didn't really make sense for me. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye out on this next box now that I know that I'm on the email list and everything should go smoothly. Uh, but the Bite products, I'm not I'm not really that interested in. And then some more lip products. This is by Elsie Cosmetics. This is a lip treatment, a moisturizing balm that not only leaves lips feeling soft and plush, but also the ultimate treatment for nourishment and hydration. This is going to be $24 or you can get a trio for $68. I believe these are available now on Elsie Cosmetics. Um, again, just not something I'm very interested in. I, I feel like I probably wouldn't use this product a ton. The swatches look nice. Like even the clear and the coral, like it looks like they have a nice like shine to them. Looks like they'd probably feel good, but I just, I don't get very excited for it. We have some new Obsessions palettes coming out from Huda Beauty. So there's three new eyeshadow palettes. Each one includes nine shades with different finishes. These are um, kind of, one of them is the Huda Pastel Rose. It's going to be available March 1st. And we kind of have like this little photo here that I'll insert. It definitely looks interesting. I'm curious what the other ones are going to look like because this first one I'm like, yeah, me, blah. I don't know. These are usually $27. I definitely want to see all three and maybe make a decision from there. I do like the Huda Obsessions palettes. Um, I, I like a lot of them. I kept quite a few in my eyeshadow palette declutter. The ones in the gemstone series, I didn't think were as good. So it kind of has me a little bit worried. Like what will the formula be like on this one? More of like the originals, more of the gemstones. I don't know, but I'll be eyeing that one. To keep it rolling, uh, Too Faced is coming out with a new item in their Clover collection. This is the Sun Puppy Bronze. A silky bronzer made with three blendable complexion boosting shades for a natural sun-kissed glow. This is going to be $32 and available February 25th. I actually did get it sent to me from Too Faced. I was a little bit surprised. I don't really get a whole, like, I get things here and there from Too Faced, but it's usually 
not like their brand new releases if that makes sense so uh this is what the bronzer looks like it is 32 dollars. that is pretty that's pretty pricey uh and i want to just kind of go ahead and try to see if i can swatch the three it's a little bit hard because the three different bronzers are you know i mean obviously this is super cute and the dog lover in me i'm like oh yeah that is so sweet and i always call aries like i call her like the sun dog or a sun lover sun pub all of that because she always finds patches of sun that like you know come through the windows and whatnot and she will lay in them and she just loves the sun i mean I get it. I get it, Aries, especially in this winter time. So uh, I'm a little bit curious to try out this bronzer. I haven't put it on my face yet. Honestly, I can't really get it to swatch very well. There's a swatch right here, here, and here. And I can't, I can't get it to swatch very well. The one that swatched the best was this one right here right here so I don't know I mean you know I you swirl it all together is probably going to be the easiest way so let me go ahead and try to um, oh, I just put my nail in it that was what I was afraid of doing I didn't want to do that so all three of them swatched are right here I don't know I mean I'll have to try it out and see what I think but thanks to Too Faced for sending this over I was kind of surprised to see it but it's definitely very, very cute. I saw that um, there's going to be a new collaboration with Wet n Wild and uh, Bretman Rock. This is available at Ulta Beauty. This is a new wild tropical tropical collection, the Jungle Rock. There's an eyeshadow palette for $14.99, lip gloss for $4.99, a loose highlighter duo for $7.99, a 3-in-1 face mist for $7.99 as well. Okay, uh, so the eyeshadow palette is definitely very colorful. I mean, it's very beautiful. The outer packaging, every, like the, all the packaging on this, I love kind of like the concept and, and, and theme of it. I think everything is really, really very cute. I don't follow Bretman Rock. I'm not super familiar with him. Like I've heard his name, of course, plenty of times, but I've never seen any of his stuff for myself. So the collaboration doesn't really pull to me. And I don't, while the collection does look pretty, it just doesn't speak to me. Dior is coming out with some new products in their backstage line. This is a new eyeshadow palette in Rosewood. It has shimmers, matte shades, and a base cream for $49. There's also a new Dior Lip Glow in Rosewood, which is $45. I do actually like the Dior Lip Glows. I got one one time off of Octoly, and I tried it and was like, why do I like this so much? Because it's a very expensive lip balm. Like, Truly, I really did like it, and I think if you are a high-end luxury lover, like, you would probably love it yourself, but it's just kind of hard for me to justify spending that much money on a lip product. The eyeshadow looks pretty, but I haven't purchased any of the Dior Backstage eyeshadow palettes. None of them really speak to me on a deep, 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 deep level, so I am going to pass on that one as well. Mar Cosmetics is coming out with new products. This is the Brighton and Bronze Complexion Collection. Uh, three palettes with bronzing, sculpting, and brightening powders in their same base formula as the blushes infused with hyaluronic acid. $25 each. There's a fair light, a medium tan, and a dark rich. There's also new complexion brushes for $36. I'm trying not to do face palettes as much. Three, three shades I'm a little bit more down for. Uh, once we get to like four and above, I really am trying to say no to because I just tend not to use them. I like that they're broken into different skin tones instead of sometimes brands come out with one face palette and it's supposed to like work for everybody which if you're a makeup artist or you do makeup on other people a lot that would make sense but for me just doesn't really make sense for me to purchase uh so again you have bronzing sculpting and brightening powders i don't know i like alamar cosmetics um the products that i've tried from them i haven't tried a lot but the products that i have tried from them i tend to really like so I'm kind of curious about this one. I would probably do the Fair Light, of course. $25 I don't feel like is that bad. So I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about this one. What do you guys feel on that one? Caught my attention for sure. P. Louise is coming out with their Valentine's collection, or they did come out with their Valentine's collection. This is white and gold white pink and gold detailed packaging includes the love tapes face palette with 18 shades and two highlighters 42 euros there's also some different brushes in here i haven't tried anything from the brand not a lot calls to me i know everyone like loves the eye bases i've never tried them myself this is a little bit bigger of a palette than i would probably go for the the shade selection does look really beautiful but again i just purchased the the love palette and I'm trying to play with that one and get some different looks with it so I will be passing on that. I think I just have some skincare to finish it off with. Let me just double check everything. Yeah, so it looks, looks like uh, Peace Out Skincare is coming out with a new product. 
these i feel like this brand was really well known for their peace out like acne dots which they're like little sticker little like dot stickers and that you would put on breakouts and sleep in them uh they are now and they have a couple different varieties of that too but they're now coming out with a new product this is peace out dullness it's a double-sided brightening gauze pad infused with seven acid complex that reveals skin that looks visibly smoother brighter and softer it's 24 dollars so it has seven acid complex of AHAs, BHAs, PHAs, help resurface and exfoliate dead skin to reveal skin that looks baby smooth. All right, it's supposed to help with fine lines, plumping the skin, uh, be good for brightness, illumination, and glow. This is going to be available February 25th online at Peace Out Skin Care and also at Sephora. I feel like this is definitely a different product. I haven't tried anything like this myself where it's actually... Like, you know, I've definitely, like, I've used cotton pads in the past to remove makeup, apply makeup, out, things like that. But I've, I'm trying to think if I've used anything quite like this. Off the top of my head, I, I can't think of anything. Um, so, it's interesting. I don't know if I'm really, like, when I first saw it, I was like, maybe. But then, I don't, like, how many times can you use this? Or can you only use one and then that's it? Because then it's kind of like it goes back to... You know makeup wipes and trying to be a little bit more environmentally friendly i don't know how well these would be for that uh, i feel like i i did get um the wishful skin product i was a little bit surprised this is the first product that i've received from huda beauty this is her skincare line the wishful yoglo enzyme scrub i do have a video with this on my instagram i'm trying that one out that has the AHAs and BHAs in there too. I have other products in my skincare routine that do as well. So I just don't think that I really need this one. So I was kind of called to it in the beginning because I was like, ooh, something different. I've tried Peace Out Skincare. I do like their products. I did use their dots, which was good for like here and there acne. I've dealt with more hormonal acne, cystic acne, and things like that, which I don't think those would be really good for. You need something a little bit more. Um, like a retinol has really helped me out recently too. So... I don't know about this one let me know what you think because like i said it caught my attention but then when i thought about it i was like ah i don't know if this would make the the most sense for me but would love to hear your thoughts other than that though that is going to wrap it up for this week's a will i buy it video i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know your thoughts on everything that i mentioned what has your attention what are you planning to pick up i of course would love to know as always though if you guys did enjoy this video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video